Hello everybody, hope that you're sitting comfortably for the first Click webinar. Now before we start, I just want to point out that you should see a go to webinar dialog box and it's an orange arrow and you should be able to see that arrow and you should be able to ask any questions and you can type those questions in and I'll try and answer them at the end or I will email you back. Okay, as you might be aware by now, Click Remote is a program that allows you to raise jobs and book engineers, view the CRM, access reporting and indeed most features of Click Service. All doing this through a web browser and that could be Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox or Internet Explorer. It will effectively mean that you can manage your company whilst you're out of the office, maybe on holiday, um, sipping a nice cocktail or just in a pub in rainy old England. So, most of you have already got Click Service and you are using that to run your office day by day. Now, for new users, Click Service is the main software which is installed in your office and is the central hub. So you will need that first before Click Remote Manager. However, let's get on with it and log in as Mick Jagger. So as you see, this will be the screen that you'll first come to and this will be the dashboard. Now the dashboard will have a wealth of information. Lots and lots of reporting and things that you can see and quickly access. So for example, I can see I had today's emergency callouts. I have five, and I also have three emergency callouts that are unassigned today. So if I want to, I can quickly click on that, and it's going to go straight to those jobs that haven't been assigned that are emergency callouts. And that might be something you want to get on straight away and assign an engineer. So, for example, what you might do is you'll go, okay, there's a leak in the toilet. Um, I can click on add, and I can add an engineer if I know which engineer I want, or even better, I can go to tools and I can find engineers scheduled in the area. So you can see there's a few. There's one in Bristol here. Oh, Axel Rose, he looks good to do that job. So maybe what I'll do is I'll assign Axel Rose to that job. So I can see, and if you can see here, you've got your little markers. You can see that he's only 3.1 miles away. Um, so what I can do is I can just click on Add Engineer, maybe select Ringo Starr, and then he's assigned to that job. So that's a really nice feature, and that's doing all that just from the dashboard. So you can do a lot of your work from this. Okay, again, obviously, if you want to see, for example, invoices are unpaid, you can click on that and it's going to go straight to your invoices unpaid and you can go back to the dashboard. So these widgets, what we call them, are called counter widgets because they're just counting numbers and giving you some, some sort of uh, sum. And down below, we have a chart widget, which has got your nice little charts. Now, these chart widgets, you can do various things. You can click on the magnifying glass and it'll pop out. Um, you can also click on the little hamburger menu, which is called a chart context menu. And you can also print out these images and print out the chart or download the images and save it for a presentation. Um, and what you can also do is you can move these widgets about as well as so. Uh, what you can also do, if you click on the far right, you'll see edit widgets. And that means that if you decide that you don't want to see some of these widgets, you can. Or if you want to see other widgets, you can. You just untick and tick the ones you want to apply and then you'll see some that have disappeared and others that have been added. You can also do the same with the charts as well and you can untick and tick them and just apply. Okay, so that is the dashboard. Um, other things that you can do from this dashboard as well is you can search for job numbers, you can search for job location postcode, you can search for invoice numbers, you can search for quote numbers and you can search, search for purchase order numbers as well. Um, you get an auto refresh every minute so if things change and you want that updated data it will populate from here you can also quickly create a new customer new quote new job new purchase order new invoice new sales inquiry and new sales order um, and you have this little navigation button here as well if you want it to come out full screen as so okay so the next thing i want to touch on is actually the engineer schedule schedule so basically you can schedule engineers in Click Remote Manager and this is something you could only do in Click Remote Service, uh, Click Service, so you couldn't do this before in any other remote packages that we offered, but you can do it now. So you'll notice at the top I've got some unassigned jobs because here I'm hiding assigned jobs, so I'm only in the overview going to see unassigned jobs and I can drag and drop those into here. But what I'm going to do is show you something different. So for example I can see Ringo Starr has got a cooker breakdown here. I might right click on that and go Open Job Preview and see what he's doing. So I can see that he's doing this job today. Um, and if I go and view that job, I can click on Tools 
and I can say, okay, let's find unassigned jobs nearby. So that's going to populate any jobs that might be unassigned nearby. So I know that it's a cooker breakdown. He should be done within the two hours, maybe. So what I'm going to do is assign him to this air conditioning breakdown. Yes, Ringo Starr's multi-talented. He can do any of these disciplines. So if we click on Add Engineer and then select Ringo Starr, we can do the start dates and we can do the times of when we want him to uh, go onto site. So let's just say four o'clock. And again, we estimate it probably finish it maybe after an hour of looking at that air conditioning unit and just add him to it. So now he's added to that particular job sheet as well. So if we go back to the engineer schedule and see that he's now got that AC break breakdown for Carterweed and Dove. Okay. However, you can do the same old thing if you know where it is and you've got your prefixes um, set up um, for your scheduler and it's showing the postcode or something like that. You can just drag and drop as you would do with your normal scheduler as so. Okay. So other things you can do from the scheduler is all departments. You can select the departments that those engineers might be in and you can also untick and tick the engineers you want to view in your scheduler. Okay, so that's the engineer schedule. Now what I'm going to do is just go to jobs and just give you a few more little tips in the jobs. Everyone knows about job sheets. You've got your list of jobs here. A couple of things you can do. You've got column visibility, so you can select some columns and you can move them about so you can do all that. Um, you can create new jobs obviously from here. But what you can also do is you can click on a job and again you might use tools and this times you might again say uh, find unassigned jobs nearby or find engineer scheduled in this area. Again, there's no engineer to this job, so you might want to do that. And you can see he's all the way in Bridge End. Maybe I can get someone from Bristol to do it. Who's there? Ringo Starr. Getting late in the day, might not bother. But he is only 43 miles away, so yeah, let's just add him. So we'll add the engineer and we'll add Ringo Starr in there. So he's now added to that job as well. So that's another thing you can do with jobs. So you can you can schedule engineers from that job and get a better, get a better understanding of where your engineers are and which engineers are close to those particular jobs. Okay, so the rest of Click Remote Manager is what you've seen all before, the CRM. So you'll see all your customers in here. You can just click on the filter grid, type in the name of the particular customer and you can click on the customer and you'll see you've got details, contacts, sites, equipment, quotes, jobs, sales orders, purchase orders, invoice credits, service instance and sales inquiries for that customer. You can also create sales inquiries if you wish to from here. Um, again, you've got new inquiry, you've got column visibility so you can decide which columns you want to view. You can open your filters so you can filter out between different date ranges. You've got sales orders you can create from here. You can create quotes as well so you can click on new quote and create your quotes. Um, you can also create diary items so you can click new appointments put diary items in um, again you've got your engineer schedule which we've been through you can create service incidents if you wish you might create a service instance for one of your guys to pick up in the office and then they'll create a job and assign entirely up to you you'll also see jobs so you've got all your jobs and you've also got your invoice credits as well so all your invoices are in here and you've also got your purchase orders and you've also got reports as well. So you can select different reports from here. So you can go to job sheet and you can select all your different reports. Um, so for example, job sheet, average cost, total profit grouped by font code. You can do that and you can click on charts and you can see those lovely little reports there. Okay, and that's very much about it for Click Remote Manager. Thank you very much for listening. Cheers, bye.